In our last video, we spent the day exploring Old Quebec. In this video, we continue on our road trip and head to our next pit stop where we will be spending the night. This stop gets us right into New Brunswick so that we can wake up bright and early and explore a new province. Let's go. Restock complete. We got some groceries. Andy ran to the bathroom. Oh God, that was necessary. Andy almost didn't make it to the bathroom. <laughs> no, I made it all the way, but it was like under being cleaned. Oh, I was so like, oh God. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna pack everything away in the van and head out. Um, we've actually decided since we have spent less time in uh, Quebec City than we thought we would, uh, well, we're gonna drive a little bit closer to New Brunswick, maybe even right into New Brunswick. I think definitely into New Brunswick, just how far into New Brunswick. Okay, so the destination today, St. Leonard, which is some hours into New Brunswick. I don't even know if I'm in the shot, but it is what it is. Anyways, so uh, that will put us nice and close to St. John tomorrow, uh, giving us time to explore the city and stop along the way. Anyways, yeah, I think we're gonna be out of uh, Quebec today. That's, I, th I think that's a realistic goal. It's only a couple hours from here, so. Let's go. I, I don't know how well you can see this, but this stretch of the drive, we it's have the hit- The last 15 minutes. The last 15 minutes, we have hit a lot of bugs. Like it looks like raindrops on the windshield, but it's all bugs. Again. Thanks for cleaning the windshield, honey. No problem, you were useless. I pumped the gas, paid for it, all in French, and you sat inside. Um, we're gonna cook tonight. We're starting to get hungry. Uh, we are gonna make some rice hash topped with runny eggs. Looking forward to it. That's about it for this check-in. We'll check back in in 20 minutes. See you then! A new place, a new home For a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back Take my time, listen to a crowd A new man passing by is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it, so where I can find myself. So we just found a really cool restaurant stop. It's completely free camping. Um, this whole area was built by the local community, and there's like spots that kind of branch off onto these ring roads that have like covered picnic tables and like fire pit areas there's like a little tea totter teeter totter right there and then um, there's like bathrooms over there there's like more picnic type areas if people want to park like further over there garbage cans there's um, a spot to get water I don't know this is this is a really great I overlander find we are both really excited about this one um, we're gonna cook dinner here and spend the night here. How you feeling about this find, honey? It's good. It's so great. I'm free camping. I can't say no. Andy got our bug net set up, got some fresh air into the van. So, one door, 
works perfectly. All right, so for dinner tonight, we're making what I call, I don't know, I just call it a rice hash with eggs on top. Um, we're gonna do some like Hispanic, Mexican style seasoning. Um, so I'm gonna throw the peppers into the pan with oil to cook first. Um, once those have actually softened, then we'll add a bag of this uh, basmati rice that we buy on these road trips. This honestly is a lifesaver. It just makes things so much easier when we need to cook a little bit quicker. Um, and then we add in extra things like um, some meat, some onion, um, and then the seasoning and top it with eggs. It's pretty good. Not bad. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way. I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. Good morning. It is Sunday. Sunday, August 21st. We're gonna make it into New Brunswick today. Pretty much like right away in the morning. Uh, my original plan last night was to make it just past the border, but then um, Tia like re-found this campsite uh, that uh, pretty much like both of us looked at independently and she decided that we should come here instead and it was a great idea as it was an, an amazing uh, campsite it is free it is built by the community and it has absolutely everything toilets okay no shower but toilets uh, drinkable water a fire pit many campsites a giant spot absolutely recommended if you are coming this way um, it is Band, freaking plastic. Seems like today is a coffee only morning. Might stop at another rest stop on the way to St. John. Honey? Yeah, there? I was saying that we'll make those bagel things, but neither of us are very hungry this morning, so. Frappe it is. Frappe it is. And we're off! I don't think it's gonna take us very long to get into New Brunswick. I think it's only about 40 kilometers from here. Um, but once we're in New Brunswick, we're going all the way down to St. John and then over to St. Martin Sea Caves. We're gonna try and catch low tide today instead of doing it tomorrow. Um, just because we are way ahead of schedule than we originally planned. So. Um, it's going to be a lot of driving this morning and a lot of cool sightseeing this afternoon, this evening, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Where am I going? Oh, oh, you're turning left. <laughs> I forgot I was giving you directions. Starts Logan. <laughs> okay, wait. I gotta give you any directions first. Sorry, guys. You're gonna go left in 270 meters on Wade Street. In 270 meters, turn left. So here? Turn left. Now. Please turn left. Well, what I was gonna say is, sorry guys, we left you hanging there because the battery died. We got into New Brunswick. Left, right. You're going right. This See, way. Just bad timings overall. Anyway, we got into New Brunswick. We've been driving for about an hour towards St. John. Um, we saw a road stop sign that said something about some scenic views and waterfalls. So we decided to pull over. So that's what we're looking for right now. The stop is called Grand Falls and it is in fact a waterfall. Um, I'm gonna continue giving Andy directions before he yells at me. So I'll check back in in like two minutes. Okay, we found the parking for Grand Falls. Oh, there's also an information center. Okay, this is actually a really great stop because we both had to use the bathroom and the bathrooms here are immaculately clean and have real flush toilets, which is always nice. Um, one nice. One, one nice, it's nice. a nice. Yeah. Now we're checking out the actual falls. It doesn't look like they have a lot of parts of the dam open, so there's not really that much falling water. Okay. Pause for a second. So I didn't realize that like waterfalls and I guess French is like Sioux. So when we drove through Sault Ste. Marie, I didn't realize that it's like a waterfall called Sault Ste. Marie. I thought <laughs> waterfalls are shoot. I don't know, but when you check back there, it's Grand Sioux. Huh. Well, here is Grand Sioux. That's what we're going to! Another impromptu stop! It's been a while since we checked in. We've just been driving on Highway 2, which is technically Highway 1. It's, it's the Trans Canada Highway. And um, we are right close to Covered Bridge Chip Factory, and they do factory tours. Um, and then after your tour, you get to uh, season your own chips with 60 plus different flavors or something like that. So. We actually missed the stop and we had to double back, but we are now five minutes away from a chip factory tour and we're pretty excited because we're also pretty hungry. Oh, yes. And a uh, slight change of plans. We're going to go to St. Andrews first before St. John because of Ozzy's Unshack. Oh, it's not actually St. Andrews. Whatever. We're going towards St. Andrews because Ozzy's is like right above St. Andrews and that place is more highly rated than the one that we found in St. Andrews. So stopping there and then to St. John's. St. John. I figured out why we keep getting Newfoundland. It's St. John, New Brunswick and St. John's, Newfoundland. Yeah, confusing. Thanks, Canada. All right, we're at the uh, Covered Bridge Potato Chip Factory where uh, it's in Heartland and it's home to both the longest covered bridge in the world and, Tia, yeah, the shortest one. <laughs> it's only 24 feet long. We're gonna quickly check it out before we go in the factory. This is hilarious. It's actually a legit bridge too. There's like some water there. It also smells absolutely fantastic outside. It smells okay. like chips. It smells like chips. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
it smells like chips. How much was that? Uh, it's 11 bucks. $11 for two adults for Taxi. the tour. Taxi. It's a self-guided tour. Oh, is it? Okay, and they said that we can go grab a sample of chips down over there, so... Once you get your bag of chips, at the end of the tour, you come out here and they have like a whole bunch of different seasoning flavors that you can try. You can like mix and match them, you can keep one flavor. Um, Andy says he's gonna try the Asian curry. I don't know what I'm gonna try yet. There's some weird ones like chocolate milk or fruit fusion or bubblegum. Probably gonna stay away from those though. All right, Andy, you go first. 